warning, this video um, can be a bit scary for my younger audiences. So, if you're um, under the age of seven, I suggest you don't watch this. So, yeah, but if you are under the age of seven, there's plenty of other videos on my channel to keep you entertained. Yeah, like I said, please do not watch this if you're under the age of seven. Um, viewer discretion is advised. This is scary. Thank you. It was a calm and peaceful, quiet night in the house of the Bellinghams, or at least it was, until little Amy's dolls came to life. Dresser like they usually are. They're on my bed. <laughs> TJ. Ugh, Amy, what's the problem? TJ, why did you put my dolls on my bed? And if you're trying to scare me, well, you did, and it's really mean, and I'm going to tell Mom and Dad. I'm sorry, but I didn't put those dolls on your bed. I was asleep the whole time. Why don't you go talk to Mom and Dad? I know you're going to want to sleep with me, but we can't. Our beds are too small. So, just go with Mom and Dad. You'll be fine. Okay. I'll go in mom and dad's room. I want to be safe. Who should I wake up? Mommy or daddy? I'll wake up daddy. He's really strong. He can fight my dolls. Daddy? Daddy, I need to speak with you. Oh, Amy. Do you know what time it is? It's three in the morning. Yes, I know, Daddy. I'm sorry I have to wake you up, but I have to tell you something very important. What is it, darling? Make it quick. I want to go back to sleep because tomorrow I have work. Remember? Yes, Daddy. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I'm afraid of sleeping by myself in my room. Because my... You're afraid of sleeping in your room by yourself? Your sister is there. So now, go back to sleep. Daddy, you don't understand. My dolls, they were on the dresser, and now they're on my bed. They were crawling all over me. And I asked TJ if she put them on my bed, and she said no. And I'm really scared, so can I sleep with you? Of course you can. We'll figure this out. I'll go ahead and sleep in your room so I can investigate. You're going to sleep here with Mom, okay? You're going to be safe. No, go to bed. Okay, Daddy. Oh, 
the bean stuff inside. Gather the dolls in the suitcase, darling. Okay. Dad, I'm gonna get ready. Okay. You guys be careful around those dolls. Are we gonna go to court to talk about these dolls? It's not court. It's just an agency I used to work in. They've got our back. Okay, well, I'm gonna go pick my clothes. Pick something nice. You never pick something nice. Um, well, uh, I'll go with TJ then. Bring the suitcase quick before any of these dolls get to escape. Okay. Here, I've got the suitcase. If you want, I can do it, just in case if you get hurt. Okay, thanks, babe. Because I still have to um, get dressed. Okay. Crack this baby open so we can put you sneaky dolls inside. Okay. And you. All right. All right. Are you guys ready to go to the agency? Because I've got the dolls here. Okay. Frost, how do we even know this is the right room? It clearly says do not enter. Listen, I used to work here, and it says do not enter because this is the old conference room, and you, they just really don't want anybody going in except for the employees, but they said our meeting was going to be held here. Okay, girls, did you hear Dad? Come on, we've got to go in. Hello, my name is Lydia Parker and today I'll be your agent solving this problem. Sir, do you mind if I open this suitcase where I assume all of the dolls are in? Not at all, ma'am. Then, the suitcase shall be opened. These are the dolls, correct, little girl? Um, yes, they, they, they are the dolls. Very well. We shall put them in their steel cage, where they will not bother anybody during the meeting. Now that that is done, we will discuss the case. And the little girl told all of her stories of how they had hurt her and they had done stuff to her. While the parents just listened. Very well then, these dolls shall be burned immediately. Wait, before you burn them, one of them was innocent, the green one. Her name is Minty, she was innocent. She was on top of the dresser the whole time. I saw her every day and she was never on my bed and she never did anything to me. Don't burn her please. 
very well little girl come up and take the dog that is innocent the rest shall be burned thank you all right your case is over meeting dismissed No more problems in life. Thank you guys so much for watching in this video. Frost, my mascot, played as a dad, but no, Frost is not a boy. She was up for the task of being a dad. <laughs> um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Sorry, this is a little bit scarier than my normal content, but yeah, bye.